Mizzer, Danny, come in. Greetings and welcome to Ask That Mizzou Playboy with the classes. we see the people that ask the questions before? That's a very good question. And the answer is sometime in the near future. And by sometime in the near future, I mean now. Courtesy of Skype. Oh boys! Boo. Hey, what are you booting me for? Hi, hey, As you can probably figure out by request, we have decided to do this episode via Skype. Oh, With guacamole! Yes. And do the usual question. For the rest of the episode, these three will be answering, asking all the questions, and I will be giving the answers as usual. So with that, fire away, my old friends. What are your thoughts on Fuller House? Fuller House, from what I've heard, was awesome. And you know why, why it's awesome? It's because the Commander Xander thought it was awesome. By the way, if you haven't seen his review yet, go check it out. He has gotten through the entire episode, and from what I've seen on Twitter, he's absolutely enjoyed it. But from what I've heard, it's fuller than before. With guacamole! Yes. What do you think of Stephanie's uh, bigger bazoingas? Did Commander Xander like that too? I don't know if he did, but I think you got a pretty good feeling about how I feel it. In fact, let's use that same scale that we used before. You know, the one where I go bleh to giggity. Here's what I think is Stephanie Tanner's boobs. Ding, 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 ding. We'll get to the rest of that scale later. With guacamole. Yes. How far did you make in the first episode when you saw Stephanie use her hands to Zeke? Before you had to crank one out. Are you nuts? I went through the whole episode. In fact, the first scene, I was like, holy moly, that's a big titties. Do I have to pick one? Because quite frankly, I'd rather have all three of them. Oh, wait. No. Okay. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Fuck, Mary, kill. Danny, Uncle Jesse, or Joe. Joey. Go. I would probably kill Danny because by golly, he's obsessed with cleaning. And by golly, I'm the antithesis of cleaning. <laughs> Fuck, Jesse, and Mary Joey because he's as hilarious as me. With guacamole. Yes. Oh, didn't you notice? I was in that episode. Now I know what you're thinking. How could I be in an episode when I was like two, three years old? Well, here's why. I created some deleted scenes so that way I would be in the Seinfeld episode. And you know, I know what happened. I paid that naked lady so that way Kramer could lose his bed. Then I bribed John F. Kennedy Jr. to flirt with Elaine so that she would lose the bet. And then it was just a matter of beating the crap out of George and Jerry, and by golly, did I whip them both. With guacamole! Yes. Did you beat them off so you could win the Of course I did, because I will do anything for money. Guacamole! Yes! Insert weird noise over here. Next question! Well, let's use that same scale that I've been using before. Well, let's see. This goes for every single stinking sports center female anchor that you can think of. And you don't want why? Because they're so goddamn fucking hot. Too bad most of them have been fucking married. Or else they'd be mine. With guacamole. Yes. Even the dark colored ones? Of course. Remember who you're talking to. This is a man who can pick and choose as he pleases. And in more ways than one, may I add. Which, which girl at the zoo do you miss the most? 
Which girl do I miss, you might ask? Hmm, there are so many to pick and choose. Katie McCormick. With McFucking Nuggets, yes. Why? Why is that? Why else? She's the perfect figure for me. Do I have to elaborate? Yeah, For starters, the big, you know, gahoinkers. <laughs> Are they better than Stephanie, though? Are you nuts? No one's gonna top Stephanie and her but joinkers. <laughs> oh, you better believe it! With guacamole! Yes. Not. The answer's obvious. It's me! Because I am the greatest actor when it comes to portraying all sorts of characters. Like me and Commander Xander and Willie Be a Hobo. By the way, you need to subscribe to that channel. For God's sakes, he needs support! But if we're gonna be honest about this and serious about this, I'd say Michael Keaton! Because by golly, did he kick ass in Beelders and Batman. With guacamole! Yes. How dare you say that! You know there are people that can see you, too, you know. You are lame. At which point, you probably ignored the Commander's Ant review of Beetlejuice, which, by the way, he highly recommended, and so would I! If you want Michael Keaton, that is. <laughs> if I hit Derek, I do apologize for that. He didn't deserve any of the bullets. But Derek's the one that directed the thing. Oh, well then in that case, where's my bazooka launcher? Hang on. Oh, no. Oh, don't pull out your bazooka. There's my big little bazooka. All right, where are you? Uh, there you are. <laughs> Miss me already, don't you? Ha ha! Now get with the questions! I could not understand a word that you're saying, boy. Will you repeat the question? Hey! Repeat the question, why don't you? Just now I did, with guacamole! Yes. <laughs> Just about everything does! What do you expect, geniuses? Do you realize you're talking to Mizzou Playboy? Not guys. I said everything but guys. You are talking to an Oscar award winning man who clearly does it with everything except for males, animals, specimens, all that kind of stuff. Because it's a fucking playboy you're talking to! Any more questions? I swear to God, I thought there was more than this. Serenity now. Serenity now. Serenity now. In case you're missing, this is a fucking Seinfeld reference, kiddies. Serenity now. Serenity now. Serenity now. Of course not. Trump is like the freaking emperor of the damn republic. 
which is why the Emperor is all reign supreme, because he's part of the Republic. And the Republic is a bad, 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 bad party. Fuck the Republicans! Hillary Clinton's the way to go! With guacamole! Yes. Anybody who votes for Trump is a fucking moron! Hillary rules! Hey, you're supposed to ask one at a time and then let me rate them! No, you're supposed to say it one at a time, not all at once! Ding 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 next one Ding 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 Beyonce Serenity now Next one Lame brain. Ding 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 ding. Let's ding 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 ding, but still ding 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 ding. Not Jesse, but Becky. No, Jess. Look at his girlfriend, dog. Ah. Ding. Ding ding. Ding 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 Because they're nothing compared to the actresses and anchors that are way 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 better looking. I miss doing this. Next question. What are those stains on your jacket? What stains? Well, there must be a ghost behind me, but I've never seen him until now. Bang him! Eh? No, there's clearly a ghost there that I've never seen before in my life until now, but I did just shoot that ghost down. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Or me? With guacamole! Yes! Oscar number two will be mine! Ah, you want me to shoot, huh? I can shoot you too. Yeah, too bad. I'm bulletproof. You're not. Are you bulletproof? Of course I'm bulletproof. And I'm an Oscar award winner. But, but like, here, let me check. I'm on my phone, and you're not... I don't see Adon or the Mizzou with the Playboy with, uh, on the Oscars list. Where, what'd you win? I won the most prestigious award of them all. The Oscar for not being nominated for an Oscar, but still able to win an Oscar. With guacamole. There was only one nomination, and that was me, of course. You can't just, oh, so, so you beat no one. Ah, of course I beat no one. You beat no one. <laughs> Bottom line is, I have an Oscar, and you don't. So suck on it. Oh, it's hiding somewhere and you will never see it. You're going to have to pay me handsomely. Just like you'll have to pay me handsomely for the Han Solo Princess Leia marriage, the Buzz Jesse the Cowgirl marriage, as well as the original Super Soakers. Which, by total, comes to like $1 trillion. Is the Oscar up your butt? 
No, but I can tell you where I can shove it. I'm gonna shove it up your award-winning asshole! <laughs> Brinkleberry reference! Damn lame for brain. Never mention my family again. How many times have I told you that? Just because I'm far away from you guys doesn't mean I can still do the same punishment for you. Since you, since you graduated, how often do you talk to the weasel? Whenever he's busy. Yes. Well, not busy. Which means he's busy all the time, so I rarely get to talk to him. But I heard he's been doing fairly well. Wait a minute, this is family oriented. I said no family questions. Ow. See, Colin Boy over here gets it. Him and his pathetic Oregon Ducks. Who's this Alex you're speaking to? Speaking of Alex, where's that loser of a Lazenby? Which, by the way, is a first, ladies and gentlemen. I just asked them a question, so ha! Of course he is, because he's a fucking loser. Nah, I'm just kidding, Lazenby, if you ever watch this. Are there seriously any more questions? Nope. <laughs> one more. One more? One more? Okay, fine, one more. Fire away! You can't even think of one. You've run out of questions! I have a question for you! Why the hell do you always keep running out of fucking questions? And on that note, this is that Mizzou Playboy with the classes saying, there's no such thing as a dumb question because it will win you an Oscar. Like me, you dumbass!